Trump is back on the ballot in Colorado and he can run for president, well, temporarily at least. As you know, the California Secretary of State has now changed her mind. Trump is back on the ballot in Colorado as of last night. Um, now, but it's temporary. Let's not get too crazy. Trump was very happy. There's his thumbs up when he got the news. And the reason why the Secretary of State made this decision last night, she said, because the Republican Party has appealed the state Supreme Court's decision to kick him off because the state Supreme Court, by the way, all Democrats, decided Trump can't run for president in Colorado because he's an insurrectionist. They decided that because he orchestrated and led the January 6th. Oh my goodness. Whatever you call it. Uh, insurrection mm -hmm. invasion at mm -hmm. the Capitol. Therefore, he can't run for president in their state. Because it was appealed to the Supreme Court, the, tech, the Secretary of State, her name is Jenna Griswold, I'm not even going to show her picture, she makes me crazy. She said, while it's on appeal, I'll put him on the ballot. But she's got a deadline of about 24 days because that's when the ballots get mailed out. Or, uh, sorry, get printed and sent to soldiers. And on the 12th of February, it gets out to everyone else. So no one knows what she's going to do. But the Republican Party there has already said they will elect their representative to be president of the United States by caucus if they have to. Good for them. That bypasses the requirement of the state to decide who's the best Republican candidate because they're all Democrats. <laughs> and the GOP in Colorado has wants nothing to do with them, and I don't blame them. I, I don't know what the Supreme Court's going to do, but I, supposedly it's being fast-tracked. I, I will say this, Barry. I'm glad that the GOP in Colorado actually stood up, actually grew a backbone, and pushing back on this tyrannical people that's trying to take the very right from American citizens, their vote. That's in the political realm, Barry. That is the most precious thing as in this, as a citizen, it, regardless of what planet, what, what planet, regardless of what country you are in, when you're a citizen of that country, the political, the political realm, that is the most sacred thing that you can do as a citizen. They have literally tried to remove that from Americans in the state of Colorado. Oh, Good they, the GOP. yeah. Good no for the question. GOP. Yeah, good for the GOP for grabbing, getting the backbone. Because, see, typically in the past, what the GOP would do, Barry, they would just go along with whatever the Democrats wanted. The Democrats want this, they want that. They would just go along with it just to be getting along. But this is a different time. The country's, the country, personally, my personal opinion, the country is at war. It's, it's at war already. And this is part of it. The second civil war has already begun. We don't, I don't want bullets flying. I don't want anyone dying. I don't want any of that. But for us not to acknowledge what the left is doing, we're going to lose the war if we don't acknowledge it. And good for these GOP members in the state of Colorado for standing up against these tyrants. Totally agree. We'll see what happens. She's going to have yeah. to make a decision on January 12th.